Hello everyone. <clears throat> Today we will discuss the external morphology of Ampioxus. Ampioxus it is included under the cephalochordata and is the small fish like or ill like animal. And if you observe the structure of these Ampioxus, the notochord it runs throughout the length of the body. That starting from the head region up to the tail region. Then along with this, the dorsal hollow nerve cord is there, that is the nerve nervous system runs from head region to third tail region. Third characteristics or the corded characteristics that Ampioxus have, these are the gill slits in the pharyngeal region and the what? The segmented muscles. If you observe the this Ampioxus body, it having this one is a what? The notochord which runs from head region to the tail region. Then just about to that, there is a word, the dorsal nerve cord and the third one is the pharyngeal gill slits or the pharyngeal gills. These are the three important characteristic features along with the word that is the, these are the muscle bands or that we call it as a myomeres which are running throughout the length of the body. If we observe the anterior portion of the body, it having the terminal end that we called it as a rostrum and below the or the ventral side it having the oral wood or the what the around this oral wood it is made up of the tentacles these are called as a oral tentacles within which the what the wheel organ is present. Then these are the pharyngeal gill slits then among the on the ventral side there is a endostyle these are the pharyngeal bars. On the ventral side, the what the gonads are metamerically present. Then this they, on the ventral side there are the two openings. One opening that we call it is the is in the midventral side that we call it as a atriopore, and at the what another portion that is toward the another opening that is toward the tail fin, and that is the what the anus. The two openings are on the ventral side. This one is the what the pharynx region, then this is the hepatic sicca, then this is the intestinal region and the last one is what anus that means the digestive system is complete. These are the muscle bands and uh, this fin is a what that is a the caudal fin. This is the simple lancet structure, lancelet structure or ampioxus structure at having the oral hood with the tentacles the notochord, dorsal nerve cord, intestine, the two openings on the ventral side, one is atriopore and an another one is anus. This one is a what? The atrial chamber or the atrium where the what? The water, whatever the water comes through this oral hood or the mouth, it goes to the what or it bathes the gill slits in the or the gills in the pharynx and via gill slits, its water comes to the atrium and from atriopore, it leaves the body. The gonads are present on the what that is a ventral side. This is the anterior end which is magnified one at the end or, or the anterior end it is the tapering one and that we called it as a rostrum. This is the notochord which runs from the head region up to the what the tail region. Then the Along with that, this uh, having the what at the anterior end, it having the what that is a sensory organ that we called it a eye spot. Along with the eye spot, there are the oscillus are present throughout the length of the body. Then this wheel organ is also present at the what before the branchial region or the before the pharyngeal region. Then the what the nerve cord is present just above the what that is a notochord. And the what these are the muscles or the these are the muscles that we called it as a myomeres. The muscle separating structure these are called as a myosepta. And these are the fin rays. These are the dorsal fin. And the what the fins are unpaired. 
His mouth is this and on the ventral side and uh, it, have, it is having the what that is a oral cirri or the buccal cirri and that leads into the what cavity that we called it as a buccal cavity. Buccal cavity leads to the what that is a velo organ and then velar vellum that is nothing but the mouth and there at this vellum they are having the tentacles that we called it as a velar tentacles and then the water along with the food it goes towards the pharynx region and then the what whatever the water it goes to the pharynx it baths the gills and by the what gill slits it goes to the atrial chamber and then from outside by the atrio means at the anterior end if you observe the structure the two types of the structures the tentacles are there at the outermost or the oral hood there are the buccal cirri or the oral cirri at inner to this the what buccal cavity and next to that the bill organ is there and bill bill organ uh, after that there is a what the velar tentacle and this velar tentacle passes the material or the food towards the this this is the anterior most part is the dorsal fin or the these are the ray boxes then this is the nerve cord and below these there is a what the notochord these are the oral cirri or oral tentacles supported with the skeletal rod beating of these oral cirri or the skeletal rod brings the food material towards the buccal cavity and after that this is the what the vestibule or that we call it as a buccal cavity this is a wheel organ through which the food is filtered and this is the vellum or that we call it as a mouth which is supported by the velar tentacles and whatever the food material it is directed to the branchial region or the pharyngeal region these are the gill slits and the gill bars and this is the atrial chamber and above this this is the what the tapering end that we called it as a noto rostrum within which the what that is the from where the what the notochord and the nerve cord starts and this is the what the anterior pigment spot or that we called it as a macular spot which is the what the eye spot which is the sensory organ then if you observe the what that is a structure that it having the what that is a dorsal fin gonads are also on the what ventral side these are the metapleural fold the two openings on the ventral side one is atriopore and another one is a what the anus and on the ventral side it having the what that is a ventral fin and next to that that is a the lat terminal position it having the caudal fin all the fins are the what the unpaired fins one is a dorsal fin then this is the ventral fin and the what and caudal fin oral hood we have already discussed the oral hood and the oral cirri and these are the muscles and these muscles are the myomeres separated by the myotomes um, that uh, these are the myomeres these are the and separated by the what myosepta these are the myomeres lie immediately under the thin skin throughout the entire length of the body and it helps in the locomotion then what are these myosepta it is a connective tissue which is a partition in between the myomeres myosepta separates the myomeres these are the what the v shaped structures or muscle bands are the v shaped structures then on the lower side or on ventral side the gonads are there visible through the body wall and bulge into water filled atrium into which the sperm or eggs are shed the on the ventral side one opening is there that is the what atriopore from where the what excess of the water gametes and the metabolic waste is released outside the body that is the atriopore at the anterior most end there are the cirri or tentacle these are called as a buccal cirri or the buccal tentacle these partially strain or filters the water 
as it enters the buccal cavity or vestibule and a monitor it chemical chemically or it detects the chemical nature of the water dorsal and the ventral fin rays maintains the balance during the locomotion then at the anterior most end there is a eye spot this is a wall. this is a the sensory organ along with that the another sensory organs which runs up throughout the length of the body these are the ocelli in the pharyngeal region these are the gill bars and opening in between these gill bars these are the gill slits and this this is the what oral tentacles and this the buccal cavity or vestibule this is the wheel organ and this is the velum and velum possesses a velar tentacle the gill slits where water goes through where strings of mucus traveling across them trap tiny food particles means within the gill slit or the pharyngeal region there is a mucus strings are there which captures the food particles and therefore food particles are transferred towards the digestive system and they are not escaped through the atriopore then the gill bar these are the supportive structure which are present in between the gill slits the ocelli which are present in these organism these are the light sensitive organ these ocelli are throughout the length of the body it assist in orienting the animal as it burrows in the sand the wheel organ it receives the some of the heavier food particle that means the mouth and it directs this through the mouth and into the pharynx along with the water streams this is the same picture showing the what the dorsal fin ray then this is the ventral fin ray and this is the caudal fin and the two openings on the ventral side one is a what atrial opening and another one is a anus opening along with that it having the pharyngeal region this is a nerve cord below this there is a notochord which are running throughout the length of the body and it is having the what the buccal cilia then this is the buccal cilia then vestibule or buccal cavity then this is a wheel organ wheel organ it's followed by the what the velum and the velar tentacles and terminally or the lastly the water reaches to the pharynx pharynx is so having the what gill slit supported by the gill rods and this is the hepatic diverticulum the notochord it protects and support the dorsal nerve cord serves as a major skeletal support throughout the life the nerve cord is nothing but a central nervous system it is a nervous system which controls the body then or the activities of the other organs then pharynx it is a passage way for the water it helps in the respiration also food and the air then atrium it is a chamber it serves as a collecting chamber for respiratory water whatever the water which is released from the gill slit it comes to the atrial chamber and then it is released outside by the atriopore then in digestive system the intestine is a major site for the digestion of the food and the which is another second opening at the ventral side that is the anus it is helpful for the excretion of the undigested material or the excretion of the waste this is the anterior end that is the way this having the what the velum these are the buccal tentacles and these or that is called as a buccal cirri and after from this the what the uh, cavity is there and that is called as a what the vestibule or the buccal cavity and this buccal cavity it leads to the what the wheel organ and wheel organ is followed by the wheel organ is followed by the velum and this velum having the velar tentacles and while these velar tentacles the food goes towards the that is a velum is a what the mouth velum is mouth and it having the what the tentacle that we called it as a velar tentacles velum is a opening of the mouth and therefore if you observe the structure of the anterior end first of all there are the buccal 
oral hood that having the word the buccal cirri or oral cirri or after this oral cirri the what the next comes the vestibule after the vestibule there is a wheel organ and after this wheel organ that opens into the what the vellum and vellum having the velar tentacles and opening of this vellum it releases the water towards the pharyngeal end or the pharynx vestibule is a word well, is a, a collecting chamber for the sea water it is nothing but a what buccal cavity the oral route serves as a entrance of the storage means from where the oral on the oral route there are the oral tentacles of the buccal cirri which helps in the what the transfer of the what food material or directing the food material towards the vestibule the vellum works as a valve and filter it surrounds the mouth vellum having the opening that is nothing but the mouth and surrounding mouth there are the velar tentacles it prevent the undesirable object from entering the digestive cavity that means it helps in the what the filter feeding mechanism